welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you are here. If you are new, my name is Jojo. On this channel, we talk about all things beauty. If you're not new, thanks for coming back and checking me out again. Today, I'm excited because we are doing an all matte eyeshadow look, and I don't think I've ever done that on my channel before, but it was really made easy by this guy. This is the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Matte 42 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna just open it up and show you. I'm gonna do that when I go into the tutorial anyways, but I feel like I have to talk about this for a minute. So this is the eyeshadow palette. It comes with the lid, it's plastic and lightweight. Um, it is a clip in, so it's got the button that pushes it open. I like that being a makeup artist in my kit just because I know that it's not gonna swing open and get messed up. I also like the fact that it's got so many colors to choose from. You've got your colorful shades here, you've got your darker um, defining shades, and then you also have your colorful warm tones because if you're a warm tone girl like me, you need that security blanket in your life. But it is such a good, such a good palette. Regardless of you having a kit or not, being a professional or not, you need something like this that's got all the mattes just because you don't want to have multiple palettes for specific matte shades. This has got it all. They blend really well. They are very pigmented. There is no fallout on your eyes, like the face itself. So I'm super excited for this tutorial. Um, before I get into it, subscribe to my channel. I post every Wednesday and every Saturday. You won't be disappointed. And let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started with this eye look. Um, we are doing the all matte type of eye look today and we're using this guy here. I think I've used it once before, but this is the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Matte 42 Color Shadow Palette. Um, whether you're someone who likes all mattes or you're someone who does makeup like me and you want something that's colorful, matte, reliable, like awesome blend in your kit, this is definitely it. So this guy has a lot of neutral colors, which we're gonna be living like in this range for this eye look, but there's also some pops of color. There's a black that everyone should have in their kit. There's hot pink, purple, blues, teals. It's awesome for a kit. If you don't wanna have a multiple, like multiple kits just for one shade, you know? Um, so let's get started because it's gonna be a really easy look. Um, like I said, the shades blend out very nicely. I added a wing just to kind of help dress up the look a little bit with some lashes and it looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna start by using a Morphe M433 brush. So this guy right here, you guys can tell, is a blending brush. Um, it's not long, it's not short in length, but it's definitely tapered, it's full. I like this type of brush to help pack and build the darker colors. So we're gonna take this shade here. I don't think they have numbers, names. We're gonna take this guy right here, which is a nice earthy tone. I like, it's like a, um, yeah, it's like a very earthy brown, orange type of tone, I love it. So I'm gonna grab that on my M433 and what I'm gonna start doing is start creating, carving out a shape that we want. So what I did was I was really not careful. Um, I wanna pick up the majority of the product on the brush, take off any excess, and I whether it goes on your lid or not, like I don't care, this is gonna be the center color. So what I did was just really wiggle it into the shape that I wanted. So I have the mirror up close, hand mirror, I have a mirror far away. I'm also checking with the monitor because you want to follow the shape on both sides. I know that it looks like I've been posting, which I mean I have been posting a lot, but on my Instagram, are pictures that I've like I've saved up and things when I record and I take pictures for thumbnails and stuff like that but I truthfully have not worn makeup for like two weeks and I was going crazy crazy okay um, it has been hectic at the hospital it is insane um, I'm sure you guys all are aware of what's going on in the news um, I know that I'm recording this now but I love to be proactive and I film ahead of time so today it is April 28th um, 29th so it is just crazy. I live in Naples, Florida, and they still have not decided whether they want to lock it up or not. Um, that stay home motion, and um, it's scary. It's really, really scary. All right, guys, so what I did was saturate the color, and once I saturated the color, I'm gonna go into these two shades right here. So I'm gonna toggle between the two there and I'm gonna just make sure that those two shades are really built into this brush. This is an M441 brush. So this one is definitely longer in length. 
Um, it is less fluffy, still very tapered at the front. You can see this is synthetic hairbrush. Um, and I'm just gonna use those two shades to really build up the colors. Once we build up the color in the brush, then we can take it on the borders, the edges of this shade here. And really blend that out, blow that up. Make sure there aren't any harsh lines. Um, I know that I didn't mention this when I first got started, but the eye was primed. I used this guy. This is a ColourPop no filter concealer to prime my eyelids. And then I set it with this guy here, which is my MAC Studio Fix in C2. And I just want to make sure that even though we've built this color up, there aren't any harsh lines. Everything's really smoky and blended. It's okay to take it up high towards the brow. Um, I'm okay with that with this look because it is such a simple blown out look. You just want to make sure that everything is blended smooth by blowing it up. And you always want to refer to your first eye. Um, I know that I do this separately. Usually I'll do it at the same time. We'll go through the steps together for each eye and I'll just go between each and just kind of reference and check to make sure they're looking the same. Same intensity, same shape, etc. Um, I'm going to go into my winged liner. So for winged liner, I use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I don't know that I found any other liner um, in different brands that I like. I know Sephora has a good one, Sephora Collection does. But the reason I like this one is that it stays really dark. It's really easy to work with. It's not a watery formula. So that really makes a big difference. I am going to uh, film this off of camera and I will be back to do the rest of that. All right guys, so once you've got the liquid eyeliner on, we're gonna tight line. I'm gonna do that by using my Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in zero. So I like to take that right up against the lash line and wiggle it on the top. Because what that'll do, it'll fill in any spaces that we left with the liquid liner, but also tight line in the upper lash line to again, just deepen up that lash line, help us camouflage the lash a lot better, the false lash. Next thing we're gonna do is take the roller lash by Benefit and we are gonna coat our lashes with a nice coat. Even though we're wearing falsies, it's always very important to get a good coat of mascara on your lash line just because it's truly really gonna help lift the lashes, wear better, look better, blend better. Plus if you do the lash, the mascara before you put on your lash, they last a lot longer than the actual lashes do because you can use them a little more. I love the way these lashes look. Oh my goodness. Any look, any look. Looks insane with these lashes on. Firstly, secondly, these eyeshadows blended out so well. Can't wait for you guys to try out this palette. Like you need it. It is so good. Especially for someone who's like all into mattes and doesn't need a shimmer. This is really, really good palette. I can still see the glue, but I'm just gonna let that dry before I go in and do anything. Um, always let the glue dry. Sometimes it'll dry down good where you don't need to touch it up but most of the times you will need to go in with the liquid liner over the glue on the lash band and kind of like fix it a little bit, but that's okay. As long as they're both sitting up, they look even, we're good. We're good to go. All right, so let's go into complexion. Um, for complexion, we are using our combination of primers today. So for primers, what I did was bring out some primers I haven't used on my channel in a while. So I'm gonna use the Bosho White Charcoal Mattifying Primer in the center of my face. And I know I keep saying a while, guys. Like it might have been the last video that you saw, but for me, I film videos in advance and so it's like, they're not necessarily in the order, like date order. I just kind of film them based off of what I'm feeling, what's going on that week. Anyways, so we're using that in the center of the face and then the makeup. The Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Now this I know for sure, you guys haven't seen in a while, on the outer perimeter. I don't know if it is the stress. I don't know if it is the fact that my skin just could be changing because we're getting into summertime, but I have been very oily in my midsection. Very oily. I've noticed a lot of oil here. I've been wearing glasses more than contacts, so I can definitely notice a build. For foundation, I saw a picture that I posted on Instagram using this foundation. This is the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I use the shade 240N, and it looked bomb. My skin was like gorgeous. So I was like, oh, okay. 
Okay, let's go revisit that situation. So, to visit that, again, we are gonna, like, I'm literally gonna use the same products that I used because it was so pretty. So I'm gonna take that foundation. I typically go, like, two pumps. Might need a little more. I don't know, I honestly feel like my skin is just kind of evolving and changing. You know, I mentioned to you guys that I like stopped, I'm building the foundation here. I stopped using birth control so I don't have the IUDN anymore. And my skin has changed so much. So I love that this foundation is not a flat matte. It is not a super glowy, dewy. It is like literally perfect for my preferences. And the coverage is a easy, medium, buildable, full coverage right away. I'm using a buffing brush to get the most coverage out of the foundation right off the bat. Um, ideally, you want to use a brush for full coverage. You can use a beauty sponge for medium coverage, and then you can use a um, your hands, which I don't recommend for like light coverage. Just be careful using your hands because you could pull a lot on your skin. You're gonna mess up, cause more lines, more damage. You don't need to help gravity or aging, but um, you also waste a lot of product, so just keep that in mind. Oh, and the brush that I was using is the Morphe M439 brush. No. This one's in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection. It's the white one. I doesn't have a number. Why? I don't know. Ask Jaclyn, but... Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that foundation, like literally just a tiny drop more <clears throat> with the JH08. And I'm just gonna go into this area here. This is a much smaller brush, so I feel more comfortable, more control getting into this area here. So um, right into the contour, I should have probably worn like a headband or something, but the girl hasn't straightened her hair or anything in days, weeks. At this point, so I'm just happy to have my hair down and in my face because the struggle is real at the hospital. We are trying to be as safe as possible. Um, anywho, let's move on to the rest of the complexion. We're gonna go into our contour. I'm gonna start off with my Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick in Medium Tan to give myself a little bit of color. I truly love this. This has quickly become one of my favorite ways to warm up the face. The formula, the ingredients in that is just amazing. So I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics number one brush, part of their marble collection, and I'm just gonna work that into the temples and the cheekbones. So ideally, I just recommend that you apply this in the shape of an E or a three, starting off with the forehead, blending it into the cheekbone, and then whatever you have left over, just sweep from behind the ear underneath the chin to complete your letter or your number. So once you work that in, keep that brush nearby just because we're gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. We're gonna use the shade Beautiful Bronze. And so what I like to do is I will squeeze a little bit and just kinda focus it right here in the temples. You can tell that that's a little deeper, um, more gray tone than the actual milk makeup. Just like that. Boom, love that. All right, so we're gonna work that in. The next thing we're gonna do is use our concealers. I'm gonna use my Faithful Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealers. I have the two shades, Medium Beige and Medium Sand. So Medium Beige is gonna be our color correcting concealing shade. I'm gonna take that applicator and put it right in here. It is like a peaky type of undertone, although this one on days that I'm going to the hospital and I just want a little something to help me cover up, like very soft, very natural, I like to use this only, like by itself. And this one is fast drying, so I would recommend you go right into it with a beauty sponge or beauty blender. And just work it in. I like to start furthest away from the under eyes first, so chin, forehead area, and then I'll go to the under eye area. And I'll really focus this color, like the concealing, right where I need more concealing. So usually it's a redness in the nares, the blue purple tones under the eyes, and then I will clean up a little bit over here. So you see the difference? Woo! 
So next let's use our highlighting shade and this is gonna just bring forward certain areas in our face. So like forehead, we're gonna just dot some on here. Chin, nose. And then I'm gonna put it right here to help highlight. And then I always like a little bit of extra help in the inner corner. Now, if you just use one shade, you can definitely just do the first step like we did and skip this one. I just like a very bright under eye area. I'm needing some light in my life. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. It's really important, guys. I'm gonna take a side note from putting concealer on it's really important that you guys do what makes you happy in these times while being safe okay I'm not saying go against what they're telling you but for example in my case I love teaching I love makeup I love doing this for you guys with you guys for me it just makes me happy it makes my soul happy it makes my heart happy so do what you love i mean maybe you can't go out and hang out with your friends and spend time with as much time with your family as you'd like but do something that makes you happy sit down and journal like you've been wanting to journal record that song that you've been wanting to record on your iphone it doesn't have to be in the studio it could be on your iphone it could be um on a camera that you have do what makes you happy brings you joy Now I will say this, let me backtrack and just go back to happy. Um, there's only one thing at this time that's gonna bring you joy, it's just confiding in God and confiding in his word. So seek God and his righteousness and his kingdom and everything else will follow. But definitely do things that will make you happy and content. Spend that time with your family that you've been meaning to spend but you can't because you're so busy with work that you couldn't because you know all of your commitments and all of your I don't know, just distractions really now that we're looking at it in a grander way. But um, anyways, now that that's set, that we're highlighted, brought back to life, let's go into this guy here. This is my MAC Studio Fix in C2. So I'm gonna take that right on the sponge here and I'm gonna just wipe it on the sponge and pack it into the areas we just finished putting concealer. This is to set, so if you're someone who is dry, you're just gonna do this step right here. And use a sponge versus a brush. I feel like that makes the biggest difference for my dry client. It truly does help add moisture while also setting with powder, um, but it's not super dry, even though it's still powder. But remember, you're using a sponge, so it's got it's got stuff in it still and so that's really helping to set it's helping to cover and what i'm going to do is bake this is for us girls who are oily combination skin using my fit me loose powder i use the shade fair so i'm going to just take some of that and shake it up so it comes out and using that same sponge I'm gonna break it up a little on the lid before it goes onto my face because I like the powder very fine. And we are just going to set a layer of this powder on your face. We're gonna let that bake. We're gonna let that do its thing for a minute because we're gonna finish off our under eye area. To finish off our under eye area, I'm gonna go back into the matte palette and we're gonna do the same thing we started off doing but just with smaller brushes. So I'm gonna do a smudging brush to do the earthy, warm brown tone this is the jh39 i love this brush for building but also um building pigment but also uh smudging so kind of like blending but not really tighter shorter dense i should probably show you guys before i go in <clears throat> so this is a smudging brush this one is more um, dense, it's round, because this is also considered a smudging brush where you are, this. This is just longer. Um, for this, I want the first one that I showed you though. 
I'm gonna take that and just keep it very close to the lower lash line. So we have the color down there, but I do wanna blend. And to do that, I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. I'm gonna use this guy here. This is the number seven by BH Cosmetics, that marble collection. It had both face and eye brushes. So I'm gonna toggle between the other two shadows we used to smoke out the crease, and I'm gonna smoke the lower lash line. Cause I, I wanna do the black to match the top, but you guys know that I don't do that in the inner corner, but I somehow wanna create the down there. Urgh, so frustrating. Um, okay, so let's take a little bit of the black and the other smudging brush, the stiff flat one, and I'm gonna just take that in the very outer corner. All right, so once you've done that, we're gonna go into our beige gel liner by BH Cosmetics. All right, perfect. So once that is done, we are almost done with the eyes. I'm gonna take, uh, what, I forgot they don't have names. I'm like, what name is that again? They don't have names. This guy right here, which is like a bone color. It's not really white, it's not pink. It's like a really pretty peachy, pale peach. And I'm gonna take that in the inner corner So, all right, so let's finish this look up because I'm so excited. We're gonna use the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Light Beige. I love this powder. It is so good to set. It is literally like a nice filter. I use this to kind of dust off the Bakage Powder by Maybelline, but then I also really use it to set everything because we're gonna go in with powder to fix our contouring to reiterate the contouring. So we're gonna take my NYX Pro um, Highlight and Contour Palette, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, and to contour, I like to take these two shades here in the center. That is HCPS 06 and 07. Mostly the 07, yeah. The third to last one, it's a lighter gray. And I'm gonna take that on a Jaclyn Hill 05 brush. I like for the most hollow part of my face to be my cheekbone. And then I'll sweep that under the chin. This area, I will put a little bit of what's left over specifically on the temples, which is that area right over your arch. But I love to just carve out my cheekbones with this. It'll really help to just build structure. So let's bronze up. To bronze up, I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics number two brush and that first shade, so that is the 05. Yeah, build that up. And so I'm gonna do the E and the three again. That's gonna start up on the forehead just to really bring in some color, kind of diffuse that highlight powder that we used. and then blend down the neck, kind of tie everything together. You guys hear a lot of like background noise. My husband is mowing the lawn. Not only is he mowing the lawn, but he decided to take the two boys out with him. We have two dogs and they are causing havoc out there. So that's what's happening. Um, okay, so I don't think that I have to carve anything out like bake under there, we're good with that. Um, I want a little bit of like an added highlight over my intense highlight because we're gonna do all of that I'm telling you I'm gonna do it all in one day because I haven't done my face in forever So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier setting powder in the glow um, I'm gonna just take that With her brush because I love to apply this with her brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Ooh, that's a lot of it hmm. And I'm gonna just use the lid to just kind of help me work that into the brush and then just take that over like a C. I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics Blushing in Bali six color blush and highlight. It looks like that. Take my Morphe M501 and grab Glisten, which is the cutest highlight color. And we are just going to apply that right over top of that, specifically here. 
Perfect. And then for blush for this look, I want something a little more neutral. Um, not so pink, but not so red. Maybe something peachy. So we'll do this guy here. It's called Coral. And I'm gonna take that using a Luxie Tapered Highlight Brush. I use it for blush. It's a little big for me, in my opinion, for a highlight brush. And I'm just gonna place that right in between the bronzer and the highlight. I like that. All right, guys. So let me choose a lip color and fix my hair, and I will be right back. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. I did the lips using Jordana's Easy Liner in Tawny, and then I used the it's Mellow Cosmetics. Yeah, Mellow. Mellow Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in Posh, and then I topped it off with the ColourPop I Love Set IE um, Lip Gloss called Glass Lip. I love, 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 love that lip gloss it is so perfect um but this is your all matte brown not all matte brown just your all matte smoky eye um i feel like it was super simple and easy the nice thing about this palette is that you could absolutely use this bh cosmetics palette to mix it up if you wanted to do the same steps with a different color you can absolutely do that just because it was a simple three color three step process so you could do that with the purples with the blues with the greens with the lighter oranges with the browns with the red um, just mix it up and always remember to blow out and blend your colors starting off with the darker colors um, that's it for today's tutorial i hope that it was easy and simple enough for you guys check out this palette because it is a really good investment you guys will not regret it um, and thank you for watching i will see you guys next time do not forget to subscribe to my channel i I post every Wednesday and every Saturday of the month. Also, look me up on Instagram. It's Jojo Palacio as well as on Facebook. I'm really interactive there. I post all of my tutorials there as well, but I also show you guys a lot more behind the scenes. There's more con conversational videos versus just tutorials. So I hope that you guys check it out and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.